the Irish Sports Council today published its anti-doping report for 2010. New initiatives, including out-of-competition blood testing, meant that there were just three rule violations during last year, all of which resulted in sanctions. Huge efforts have been made since the Anti-Doping Committee was set up in 1999 to eliminate inadvertent doping charges. Those instances have decreased significantly since and today a groundbreaking iPhone app was launched aimed at athletes training and competing in Ireland. It can be used by Irish athletes to just check their medication on the go. If you wanted to check a medicine you just type in the name of the medicine, you do a quick search and it'll bring up all the different types of medicines. It'll actually give them a record of what the WADA status is, so whether it's permitted in sport or prohibited in sport. Just three rule violations resulted from 65 blood tests across five sports in 2010. Out of competition blood testing was initiated last year and is likely to increase as London 2012 approaches. People tend to take a lot of performance enhancing drugs out of competition so that they will have disappeared from their system by the time of competition. And we collaborate with national anti-doping organisations worldwide so that athletes who are on our pool who may be training abroad will still be tested. Over the last decade, Ireland's athletes have shown a real commitment to the Council's anti-doping initiatives. Minister of State for Sport Michael Ring today called for a drug-free Games in London next year. And now, more than ever, the demand for a clean Olympic campaign is a realistic one. Ivan Nikulun, RTE News.